3D Opening Locket Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I am going to be making a locket nailer design. This could be worn on a nail. Um, I decided that I would rather have it as a pendant to wear as a necklace so you can see how I made it into that as well. It's got two photos of me with my family from forever ago which I love. It's, it's fun. It's got, I don't know, it's just, it's something that if you want to make it might have a lot of personal meaning to you so I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So the first thing you want to do is find your photos that you want to be in your locket and then trim them into ovals about the same or a little bit smaller than the size of your nail or the pendant that you're making. And I'm going to be making my pendant on a nail so I made sure it fit on the nail so I just measured up and I'm going to take some nail glue and I'm going to place that down and glue on my photos being super careful not to glue myself to the design because well you don't really need to be permanently attached. And so after you got that in place and the glue is fairly set, I'm just going to take some gel sealer and a paint, paint that over the top of it and throw that in my lamp to cure. And then I'm going to take some clear acrylic and I'm going to be attaching my hinge. So the hinge is just a little piece of wire that's bent in at the sides with two beads on it and it's very thin wire. It's the thinnest wire that you can buy, I think. I'm trying to think of what gauge it is. It's very, very thin. And just hold that in that clear acrylic until it has set. And then I'm going to take a layer of clear acrylic and just put that over the photo. That's going to help seal in any edges that might be up because the nail isn't flat, but paper is going to be flat, so it's not going to lay completely smooth. So by doing this, you're just making sure that everything is nice and evened out. Um, one thing I would like to mention is that it's incredibly important to put the gel sealer between your photo and the acrylic, just so that, because the acrylic can mess with the ink used in your printer, whereas the gel sealer, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to affect it at all. And so that's not an issue, um, but just make sure that you have that on there as a little, I don't know, guard <laughs> against the monomer in your acrylic. And now carefully I'm going to be filing it to make it nice and smooth. You really want to make sure that you don't get any um, abrasive anything on your wire because that could damage it and weaken it. And then I'm going to put another layer of gel sealer on there, cure it, and now I'm going to be working on my frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be attaching the two magnets that are going to be on the side away from the hinge. So just put down a little bit of black acrylic, place your uh, little magnet in there, and then you're going to want to press out the black acrylic and get that all nice into place. And now this is kind of a tedious process here, but I'm going to be sculpting up the rest of my frame all the way around my photo. When I get to the side where the hinge is, I'm not going to go like through or around the hinge, I'm just going to stop it where that is and then I'll add the chrome powder and stuff later, but it doesn't need to have that extra thickness that this is providing, so you don't have to worry about doing that, but just work your black acrylic up and around the entire thing. Yep, and as you can see, that's where I got to the hinge, and I did go up to the wire, to the end of the little wire shape that I made and I did I didn't stop before it I did go a little bit over those ends that's also going to help hold the hinge into place and keep it from breaking off not that I think it would but you know extra precautions is always good uh, just don't go over it because you don't want to um, limit the mobility of your beads and now I'm going to be painting over my frame with some black gel paint and then I'm also going to be painting around that little gap that I have in the frame behind the beads uh, cure that and now I'm going to be burnishing in some uh, chrome powder, some silver chrome powder and try to avoid getting any over your photo. I know it's impossible because this powder is kind of explosive. It goes where it wants, uh, but the least you get on there the better. And if you do need to clean it up, you can take a brush with some isopropyl alcohol on it and just sort of use that as an eraser. And it gets rid of most of the chrome powder. It doesn't get rid of all of it, but a good percentage. And then apply gel sealer over that and cure it again. So now I'm going to be on a nail form backing. I'm going to make the lid of my locket or the top for the top frame. And so I'm just going to sculpt out an oval with black acrylic that's about the same size or a little smaller than my locket itself. And I don't, it probably depends on the person. Every time I do something like this, it always comes out smaller than what I'm trying for if I don't have to draw it out and so I'm not worried about it being too big because I know myself that it's not going to even be the big, it's not going to be big enough anyway so I'm not worried. But once it has set about 90% I'm going to wrap some um, saran wrap over my, 
over the part of the locket that I finished already, put two magnets over the top of the saran wrap, and then peel off my uh, the top the lid, and then hold that into place so it has the same curvature that your that the base has. That's going to make it sit a lot better. And like I said, that was only 90% set, so it does still have some. Uh, I don't know, it still moves a little bit. It's not completely hardened. So you do have that small window of opportunity to make it have the right cut type of curvature. And now I'm going to be, with black acrylic still over the top of the saran wrap, I'm going to be fixing up the size. And as you can see, it was a quite a bit smaller than what it needed to be. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to be adding black acrylic to fix up the shape of it and also attach those magnets to the lid. At this point, my beads are still covered up with the saran wrap, so I couldn't attach them even if I wanted to, but it's also not necessary. And if you want to file it, it's a lot easier to file it with it not attached to the nail. So if you were me, then I would not attach it quite yet. I would save that for a moment. Once that's set, you can peel it off and peel off the saran wrap. And then I'm going to be touching up the inside. The saran wrap always leaves it a little bit wavy and not quite smooth. So I'm just gonna take some more black acrylic and fill it in smoothing it out to the best of my ability. And then with a file that's 180 grit, I'm going to be filing my whole lid. And so I'm gonna file around the perimeter and then I'm gonna file over the top of it. I'm not too worried about the inside at this point. It's relatively smooth and there's gonna be all kinds of stuff going on top of it. So if it's not perfect, uh, that's okay. After you have that filed, make sure you fit it again so it's the right size. If you need to fix it up, you can just grab the saran wrap and add more acrylic where it needs to be. And then I'm going to be attaching it to my two little beads with some black acrylic. After that's set, I'm going to open it up and glue my second photo to the inside of the lid, making sure that it fits before I put the glue down. And then I'm going to be putting the glue down and putting in my photo. And then I missed this step, but you want to apply some matte tap or some gloss some gel sealer over the inside and over that other photo and then i'm going to be taking and painting gel paint over the uh, front of my locket and once again i put the saran wrap between it so that none of that gel paint gets on the base of my locket and then after that's cured i'm going to open it up and i'm going to be painting a frame around my second photo i don't want to add any extra thickness to the lid that's also going to mess with the strength of your magnets but just having that little frame and putting the chrome powder on it, it looks marvelous. I'm going to cure that once again and then close the locket. And on the lid, I'm or on the front, I'm going to be putting on a little filigree pattern. And I know it's super hard to see what on earth it is that I'm doing in the video because I'm putting black paint on black. And so it just kind of disappears. But I'm adding all kinds of different swirls and little pretty stuff and gel paint has a certain puffiness to it so that after it cures and if you put that chrome powder on it and burnish that in and make it nice and mirror mirrory then you're gonna definitely see that texture of your filigree so I've cured it and now I'm going to be burnishing in that chrome powder as I mentioned and as you can see that filigree is really coming to life and showing up and it looks so pretty and delicate I'm also going to be adding that to the inside. Once again, try to avoid getting the chrome powder on your photos. I know, as I mentioned before, that's a very hard thing to ask, uh, but do your best. And if you need to, which if you're anything like me, you probably will, you can just take a brush and do as much erasing as you can. And I also just took a fluffy brush and removed the any loose dust right there anyways. And so now with some black paint, not gel paint, just regular acrylic paint, I'm going to be outlining the area between the frame and the photo on the inside of the lid just to make sure that's a nice crisp line and yeah, looks good. Apply another layer of gel sealer over the inside of the lid, cure it, close that after it's cured, apply gel sealer over the front, and then cure it once again. There's lots of curing involved in this design. And then I'm going to take a piece of wire to make the loop for my that I can attach my chain on. Take a cylindrical type of pliers and then wrap that around and then twist the ends of the wire. Trim off those loose tails with your wire cutter. And then I'm going to flip it over and on the inside of the nail on the back, I'm going to fit where I want my wire to be and then glue it on with nail glue and hold that for a second until it's set. And then really make sure it's gonna stay. I'm gonna put on some clear acrylic just to cover up all that wire. That's gonna make it pretty much unbreakable. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I would really love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.